Welcome to Kyle's Gear, and today we're doing a you know, EDC check. So, um, starting off with the wallet. Just a, I don't know, brown Steve Madden wallet. I got it at like, I think it was a Ross or a TJ Maxx, you know, that type of store. Um, you know, your standard billfold wallet. Cards, cash, stuff like that. Holds up, I've been using it for a couple years now, and yeah, it's still good. Put that off to the side. Um, you know, onto the phone. Samsung Galaxy S4 in white. It's a good phone. I mean, it's been holding up. They recently just came out with the S6, and I, don't know, I still feel like this is not obsolete quite yet. Um, I don't feel like I need to upgrade or anything like that. You know, this phone is still pretty quick for how old it is. You know, they come out with tech every six months now, so. Um, yeah, I've got a UAG case on it. It's one of those hybrid hard and soft cases, and it holds up. I've dropped this thing a quite a couple times, and you know it's yet to break on me. So there's that. <clears throat> on to the knives. This is my Cold Steel Tough Light. Um, this is kind of more my secondary knife. I keep it in my back pocket. I use this for. The more messy cutting jobs that I need to do, or if I need to hand this knife off to somebody, um, you know, it's not as intimidating. It's really small for, I don't know, pocket knives. But yeah, it's it's not intimidating. Easy to hand off to people, easy to use. Um, the Warren Cliff blade on it makes it a total, like, utilitarian user knife, you know. Um, yeah, and this knife pretty much always sticks with me. It doesn't really leave my rotation or anything like that. Um, on to the main knife that I'm carrying today. This is my, or what I mean by main knife is the knife that I carry in my front pocket. Um, today it is the Kershaw Cryo 2. Um, you know, I love this knife. It's really good for its value. 8CR13 MOV steel. Um, got a frame lock. It is pretty heavy for for its size and stuff, but... You know, that's what you get with the Hinderer designs. You know, um, I tend to carry cheaper knives at the moment just because I'm still in college, so I don't have the budget for anything super expensive or super crazy. But, yeah, um, this is the Cryo 2. I love it. It fits perfectly in my hands. Um, I did put a newer edge on it. I guess I kind of touched it up with my Lansky. Other than that, yeah, um... The speed safe is still good, um, has yet to fail on me, but even if it does, I know Kershaw will pretty much send you a new one um, as soon as you contact them about it. That's the Cryo 2. Um, that's as far as it goes. I don't carry more than two knives. Um, a lot of days I even go with one sometimes, I just go with this. But yeah, um, I'm not the type that carries his whole collection in his pocket or anything like that. Um, I always carry a big lighter. Just a white one, you never know when you'll need it. Um, always useful here and there. Um, yeah, it'll be useful at the randomest times. And the cool thing about the Bix is you can use it as a bottle opener too. So, there you go. On to my keys. You know, everything's just on a carabiner. So let's take this off, put this to the side. Um, on one keychain, I have my car fob. You know, unlocks my doors, stuff like that. And my Through Night TI3. Um, I love this little flashlight. It weighs nothing. It has three super useful modes. It has a Firefly mode, which I believe is about like 20 lumens. Um, it's good for, you know, just a really thin, uh, thin, I mean dim light um, to use when it's super dark. Use it for reading things, things like that, and it's not bright enough where it ruins, you know, your night vision. Um, after the Firefly mode, there is, I believe, a 20 lumen mode, kind of a low mode, and then there's a high mode that I believe is about 100 lumens. Um, the cool thing about this, too, is that it also has a strobe mode once you cycle through it. Um, I mean, I guess that's useful with how you have to cycle. I don't really see using this in any sort of defense or um, kind of any mode like that. Maybe just more of an SOS if you are like lost out there somewhere. And the cool thing about this light is that 
it uses a single AAA battery. So, you know, even if you're out and about and the battery dies, it's pretty easy to find one. It's not like you're charging um, batteries or anything like that, which is why I love carrying these on my keys. You know, I can run into a gas station if this dies and I need a light and, you know, spend a couple bucks on some batteries. Now onto my keys, I have made my own little, you know, key bar type key holder. Um, I went out to Harbor Freight, I bought some Allen keys that I use for my bicycle. Um, basically unscrewed both sides, took out the Allen keys, put my keys in, and used the washers in there. And this works, it works pretty well. It keeps my keys quiet, it keeps them all together. All my keys are still easy to access. Um, I did this just because I can't afford a key bar at the moment. As a college student, you know, um, money's a little tight. So yeah, I'm using my own little version of that. And I just put a keychain on one of the keys there and I'm able to put it on the carabiner. Um, I originally tried drilling a hole here to put the keychain through and it ended up just sitting kind of awkwardly like that, um, you know, when I was carrying it around. But yeah, it definitely silences my keys. It keeps them all in one. Um, yeah, as you can hear, it still makes noise, but it's not as much as if there were all these keys on the keychain. Um, so yeah. On to my wrist wear, I guess. I have this, it's made by Skagen or Skagen. It's a Danish watch, watch band, watch brand that I got for my birthday. Um, it's really cool. It's all titanium. It's super thin. That's what I like. It's super light. Um, and it's a cool everyday watch. You know, just simple and black. Tells the time when I need it. Um, I'm not always a big fan of, you know, pulling out my phone every time I need to check the time. You know, I can just glance at my wrist and keep on going with my day. So that's that. Um, yeah, the only gripe I have about this, or that's kind of, it's cool because it looks cool, but it's hard to deal with sometimes is how this watch opens. It once you press the release here, it opens like a kind of like a butterfly opening, I guess to say it best, or it just has two sides of the latch. So sometimes it's um, a pain to put it on or take it off. I prefer if it just had kind of the traditional watch latch that like latches on, you press it and the whole thing comes out and you can slide it out. Um, sometimes like one comes off and then your other one's still on. So that gets annoying, but other than that, you know, really cool, really slim kind of minimalist style watch. Um, I also carry, or I guess wear, a Fitbit Flex. I've had this thing for about two years now. I love it. Um, you know, you get to keep stats of your steps and when you work out. And um, I don't really use the, you know, all the food tracking and stuff, although I should. Just, um, I don't know, it's, it's a little inconvenient at times to have my phone out being like, oh, I'm, you know, eating this and things like that. But, um, yeah, it's cool. I keep up with my stats. Recently, I've been working out uh, a little more just because, you know, trying to lose some of that college weight. It's good to have a tracker. It tells you, you know, all your progress and you feel good when you meet, like, your step goals and all the things like that. So, yeah, that's the Fitbit Flex. Um, I like the Flex in particular because you can take the device itself out of the band. So, you can wash both when they get gross and things like that. Um, and even if you rip this band or it gets damaged or anything like that, Fitbit does sell a ton of different colors and a ton of different replacement bands and things like that. So, yeah, um, that's why I like the Flex. Other than that, on my wrist I carry these um, monk beads. You know, kind of a religious thing, but also just because it kind of looks cool. Um, those are that. These in particular are wood. I have black ones and ones made from amber. But these are the ones that I wear every day. Um, that's pretty much my EDC. I have headphones. Always good to carry headphones, whether I'm listening to music, walking around campus, or biking. Um, of course, if you're biking, only wear one ear so you can still pay attention to traffic. Um, but yeah, uh, it's your standard Samsung headphones that came with the Galaxy S4. I've yet to upgrade to anything else. I mean, these have been holding up for as long as I've had the phone, so... Yeah, they're pretty good, and I like that they have the mic and all the volume controls, so once again, you don't have to keep whipping your phone out every time you need to change a song or anything like that. So, that's my current everyday carry. Um, I've been carrying it like this all summer. Haven't really changed much besides the keys. 
Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.